Hi everyone, welcome to Shirley Street Scandal. Each Sunday I share with you my favourite short and street moments of the week. Uncomfortable scene of the week. This week Murray told everyone that he wore the same pair of underwear for a week when he went camping. Yeah, I remember my first road trip with my friends. We packed a chilli bin full of beer, forgot the food, blew a head gasket on the way and lived in the same pair of undies for a week. Gross. Oh. Leanne moment of the week. This week Leanne and Kylie got into a major fight when they had to share the front desk for the day. Leanne kept calling Kylie Missy. So don't get all moral high horse, Missy. Don't call me Missy. Your side, my side. Missy. If you're late, your break ended seven minutes ago. Tell it to the handbag. Oops. I could stick it in the shredder. <gasps> if you keep pushing, Missy, I'll tell you where to stick it. Then Kylie rudely moved Leanne's handbag, and when Kylie went away, Leanne pretended that it had been stolen. Well, I'll give her stress. <sighs> oh! Well, what now? No, my handbag. I can't find it. Oh, I put it right here. Where? Here. Well, where someone could steal it. I, I will replace your bag. $590? You're kidding. Guys, this scene was amazing. I also wanted to briefly mention the extras in this scene. This guy with a fedora, very cute. And also Santa, my favourite extra of all time, was in the scene five times. Five different times he walked in and out for some reason. Santa, what are you doing? I'm not kidding. This must be a record for Santa. Overall, it was a terribly sad week for Leanne. Even Ulla's mean to Leanne. Hey, have you guys seen this email from Leanne? Ugh, delete. Hey, Ulla, cut it out. Unnecessary scene of the week. This week, Chris wanna keep going on about how he was a great babysitter. We good or are we good? Ooh. I knew there was one more. <laughs> Team Trinity. Hold your hand in mine, Harry Warner. <laughs> but as soon as Grace left the house, Chris Warner pushed Trinity onto Rachel, who was also a terrible babysitter. That's nice. That's nice. Oh, wait. Who is this? It's Mr. Clicky, the stapler. Hello, Trinity. I'm Mr. Clicky. I love to staple things. That wasn't ever going to work. Oh, I have photos of your daddy. Ooh. Classic gag of the week. Recently TK has been very sad, so this week he tried to change a few things up and tell some jokes to his friends. Unfortunately these jokes were a little bit off and a bit offensive, like when he started making fun of Sarah, his dead wife. TK, you gotta try this. You love it. It's so good for you. <laughs> yep. TK, get your tins off the bench. It's so messy. Too soon. Too... No, TK. Also, he made a joke about leaving Tilly in the car by herself while he goes to the bar. Where's your little girl? Oh, she's in the car. With a packet of chips and a fizzy drink. Yeah. Joking. <laughs> <laughs> Boyd Rolleston's jokes were much better this week. Doctor, doctor, I feel like a pair of curtains. I don't get it. Pull yourself together. <laughs> <laughs> Lame boy, Can you do better? No, I don't. <laughs> hey. Hey, who the hell are making jokes around here? Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this episode of Shorty Street Scandal. I'm sorry there was no Shorty Street Scandal episode last week. I was away in Auckland visiting the Shortland Street set, which was very amazing. I'm going to do a recap video of that very soon, so look forward to that. Um, speaking of videos that I'm going to be doing, though, I'm doing a Shortland Street Awards recap video um, where I talk about the best moments of Shortland Street for the year. So you guys click the link in the description and you can vote for your favourite moments of the year and um, I'm going to be putting that video up on Friday. Have a lovely week. I'll see you guys next week for the finale episode of the year kind of. Okay, goodbye. Oh.